I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, January the 28th, brought to you in part by the Cattle Vac Box. Protect your vaccine, protect your livestock, and protect your workers by using the Cattle Vac Box when you're working your cattle. If you're going to be at the NCBA trade show next week in San Antonio, stop by their booth. It's going to be booth number 451 to find out more about the Cattle Vac Box. This coronavirus has struck. And it's not only making people sick and killing people all over the world, it has struck our markets now. And I tell you what, Monday was a, was a big experience of that. And uh, it just struck fear in your markets. Uh, your, your ag commodities uh, were the worst to, to get it, but uh, it, it struck your stock market. It struck everything. Uh, China is pretty much shut down. That's where it started. We talked about that uh, the other day. You know, this, this all started there in China, rural parts of China, people eating exotic snakes and, and animals uh, of different nature, bats and things like that, without cooking them properly. And we end up with some kind of a weird strain that we don't know how to deal with. Well, it's, it's struck and it's spread. And uh, like I said, China's pretty much shut down. Uh, the people are not moving around. The, the whole fear of this thing is it's going to prevent people from traveling. And it's going to stop commerce. People aren't going to be eating in restaurants and the like and everything. China's throwing up hospitals literally in days uh, to treat people as they're expecting them to come in on an emergency basis. But on Monday, it struck our markets. It's all based on fear and the technicals. Uh, there's nothing fundamental here. It's, it's technicals and it's all about fear. But uh, your, your ag markets took the brunt of it and, and your cattle markets for sure. But uh, it was a bad deal on there. But you look at your board for Monday, February live cattle futures down 260 at 122 and a quarter. April down the $3 limit for live cattle at 121.30. June was also down to $3 limit, so now we get to enjoy expanded limits uh, so the market can go down even more severely. January feeder cattle were actually up a nickel because we're right here at, at maturation uh, at, of your January contract, so it can't go down any. So that just goes to show you how it's all about fear and technicals because that's not really the market. That, that January feeder cattle contract has to come flush with what cattle are actually bringing in the sales uh, in, j in just a couple of days. So it can't go down. So it was actually up a nickel at 141.90. March down to four and a half dollar limit at 135.17. April down to four and a half dollar limit. May was down almost the limit, 415. And August down 377, but a rough, rough day uh, on your board and, and a rough day for a lot of your commodity markets. Weighted average on the last week's uh, fed cattle trade, negotiated trade out of the five area feeding region was uh, fairly heavy for this day and time. We don't see it. We're not going to see any hundred thousand head movements till more people decide to sell negotiated. But 86,000 in your five area feeding region is, is fairly heavy for the way we're trading cattle now. That compares to 75,100 last week and 90,800 the same week a year ago. Uh, and when we talked about the market was was pretty much steady 124 live and 199 dress but you look at the breakdown your live sales of steers and heifers range from 119 to 127 mostly at 124 with a weighted average on live steers at 124.30 dress sales steers and heifers 197 to 199.50 your weighted average on dress steers was 198.83 down 21 cents uh, your, your weighted average on live was, was actually up 27 cents, but your market was steady. That's just the breakdown on the weighted averages. Nationwide, they sold 105,900 head negotiated. And like I was saying earlier, that uh, for this day and time, that's pretty good movement. 28% of those for the 15 to 30 day delivery. But uh, we're not looking like we're gonna sell cattle higher. We, you know, the board's been down too much now. And, uh, and we've been steady pretty much at 124 all year here, even though we're just a month in. But uh, it's going to be tough to try to cling to any kind of a steady this week. However, your, your slaughter continues to be heavy. And, uh, and it normally kind of wanes off about this time of the year because there's not as many finished cattle available. Feedlots are full of calves and cattle that still have a lot of time to go on them. But uh, you're, we're, we're starting to see... 
uh, that's that hit because we got less cattle that are market ready but your packers are still wanting to slaughter heavily uh, because they're they're trying to, to keep things going and keep moving meat and and uh, so there's going to be a little bit of a struggle there but it's going to be hard to to sell cattle any higher this week talk about what's going on around uh, on Monday afternoon there was a statement that come out that said JBS announced that uh, they had struck a deal or, or the terms of the deal to supply 717 million dollars worth of, bo of beef poultry and pork per year to China. Uh, the first shipment is expected in the first quarter of, of 2020 and uh, that, that was all uh, kind of through the White House there and for some reason or another uh, Washington DC just continues to try to fall all over themselves to help JBS which is a Brazilian company but a uh, little bit hard to figure that but nevertheless that's a good sign that we're moving significant amounts of protein into China and, and China seems to be the source of all of our problems, including this coronavirus deal. But uh, to tell you how this, this thing has really affected your markets, and I, guys, I gotta tell you guys what's happening in the markets. I like to quote the big high prices, but when the market's down, I gotta tell you that. When your auction markets are struggling uh, to serve their producers, I gotta tell you that. And, and if I'm talking about a low market, it's, it's not the sale barn's fault. It just goes to show you how the bids aren't out there to buy those cattle. I was talking with Jim Akers. He's the general manager of Bluegrass Stockyards. And uh, in the morning, he was excited about a big long string of cattle coming from Tennessee, from the Sullivan Farms. 450 head of home raised, long weaned and turned back out, two rounds of shots. And, uh, and a really nice set of cattle coming in uh, from a long ways off and, and they were coming in to trust True Price Discovery right there uh, in the bluegrass and at Lexington at, at the flagship uh, market there for bluegrass stockyards, 450 head. By the afternoon, that producer had said, gosh, this market's down so much and, and I've just got to kind of protect myself. I'm going to hold my lighter calves back and you cannot blame him. That's what people are facing right now. So he's going to bring 300 instead of 450. That's the way these markets and, and, uh, and these fears can, can just uh, shake up trade uh, just immediately almost. But that's, uh, that's kind of what's going on. And, and I'm going to tell you some markets here that, that aren't very impressive. And, and I'm sure not against the, the markets where they sold. That's just the way it is. Well, I was uh, talking with uh, uh, Sylvan Livestock Sales there, Toby Myers. And, and uh, he said, uh, you know, I got a string of cattle here that aren't very impressive. But they should make your report because they ended up on my card and I can't get them sold. That's the, what's going on here with uh, everything that's going on with, with the fears when the board goes down this hard and, and, uh, and, and the way it affects cash trade immediately. But you look at your feeder cattle market, your real-time index with DV auction uh, late in the day on Monday at 144.99 uh, off of 145 or under 145 for the first time in a while, down 34 cents, and that's not a lot, I could tell you, but that's a seven day moving average with a lot of cattle in there so it's a good test but your steer tracker that we keep track of uh, with our real-time data which is is the uh, the bigger strings for the the last 25 big strings of cattle it sold your steer tracker Monday night was 141.26 so we know what's coming we know that index level is going to drop sharply look at your big sales for Monday Oklahoma National Stockyards Oklahoma City 13,000 head and uh, and I uh, you know talked to some people that were around there wasn't a complete wreck but sharply sharply lower from something that is so far removed from from uh, selling cattle through the ring real-time uh, feeder cattle that aren't going to be finished for a long time so we don't have any idea what's going to happen between now and then uh, with this virus that's going on but the fears just take over but in Oklahoma City feeder steers are three to six bucks lower feeder heifers one to four dollars lower steer calves three to seven dollars lower and heifer calves steady to six dollars lower 
You look at a, a long string of cattle, it wasn't just on odds and ends, but long strings of cattle selling sharply lower. Uh, National Livestock Commission firm there, uh, we get information from them, sold a long string of six weight steers, 153 head of them weighed 655 at 140. That's the market. Uh, now those might have been on uh, commodity cattle there. Uh, couldn't actually find them on the federal state market report. Maybe they ended up in a different weight group. But uh, the, but uh, a long string of cattle, so they've got value right there, 655 pounds at 140. And that's where your market's at. Joplin Regional Stockyards, 5,000 head on offer there. They were probably glad they had kind of a lighter day. Feeder steers, four to six dollars lower there. Feeder heifers one to three dollars lower. Steer calves actually steady because there's just been a lot. There's been more demand for those than there's been offerings, so uh, probably still picking up on some of those. Heifer calves actually steady to three dollars higher. And if you look at this automated market report uh, through DV Auction here, you can see uh, this is on all the cattle. Uh, a lot of commodity cattle in Joplin. There's some fancy cattle that will bring as much as they will anywhere. Be some plainer cattle on one end. But this is all the cattle uh, that I'm giving to the market on, on the popular weights out of Joplin Regional Stockyards on Monday. 460 head of the four weight steers. Average 457 at 167.29 on the average weight of those four weights. Uh, 733 head of the five weight steers average 554 at 153.31. 810 head of the six weight steers in Joplin average 647 with an average price on six weight steers of 139.16. And that's similar to what we were talking about in Oklahoma City. It just happens that fast. Heifers. 484 head of the four weight heifers average 459, 142, 89. 643 head of the five weight heifers average 546, 139, 24. And 531 head of the six weight heifers average 651 with an average price on all the six weight heifers of 129.45. My goodness, uh, it, it's just unbelievable. And then that's how volatile these things are right now. Look at a market uh, up in the Midwest there that normally sells premium. Russell, Iowa. Russell Livestock, 3,600 head there. Feeder steers weighing over 750. Your big feeding steers going right on to feed. Five to eight bucks lower. Your middleweight feeder steers, which a lot of those would be calves, but mostly all weaned, uh, weighing four and a half to seven and a half, selling one to three dollars lower. And your Pee Wee steer calves in Russell, Iowa, a full ten dollars lower than last week. Feeder heifers in, in uh, Russell, three to six dollars lower, and the Pee Wee heifer calves, ten bucks lower too. Uh, the top quote that I saw on cattle weighing right near eight hundred pounds was out of Russell there. Sixty nine head of seven hundred and ninety three pound steers in Russell, Iowa bring 143.85. That was the top price I saw anywhere cattle weighing 800 pounds. Uh, another top price that I saw on some heavier weight cattle come out of Aberdeen Livestock Sales, Aberdeen, South Dakota. 70 head of 858 pound steers bring 141 and that's the top of the market. And that's your feeder flash for Tuesday.